Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. Let's go to Manila for today's daily challenge, where we might use motorways. They require road tiles, after all, and no destinations will become circles. This is kind of a crappy little combination of challenges, but hey, they call it the daily challenge, not the daily cakewalk, right? That would be a different thing. A daily cakewalk would probably also be bad for a person on account of, you know, sugar and... Listen, I'm sure cake is a lovely food. Cake is, in fact, a wonderful food. If I had cake every single day, the daily cakewalk would eventually become a bit of a chore. Just speaking personally. How about a nice, like, you know, bi-weekly cakewalk? I could go for a bi-weekly cakewalk. I don't know if anyone else would be interested in a bi-weekly cakewalk, but, eh, you know. I might or might not have had a microwaved hash brown stuffed with breakfast foods for breakfast, so I probably shouldn't already be talking about food, but now I'm hung up on the concept of a bi-weekly cakewalk, which, yeah, sure, why not? That's the title of the episode. We're literally one minute in. I haven't even gotten to any of the things I wanted to talk about, which was mostly just thanking everyone who showed up for last night's Dragon Age Origins stream. We got a lovely raid from Lulu Freya, brought, brought along a whole bunch of friends. Uh, let's take some traffic lights right here. Uh, I'm going to run this red road. Mmm, crap. Well, yeah, I'm still going to do this. We're going to run you up to here. I might have to, might have to divert one of these red houses, but yeah, let's just do that. We'll run you two up along here into this business. That'll be fine. So as I was saying, thank you to Lulu Freya for the raid. Cheng the Hybrid, Wiley Coyote, and Nerd Paladin all came in with follows, which was very impressive given that it was like a 75 minute stream, almost half of which consisted of me dealing with Dragon Age Origins crashing. Which, listen, that's never fun. Especially, well, even when you're playing what is apparently our new favorite Tuesday game, Take a Drink Every Time Dragon Age Origins Crashes, it, um, it crashed a lot last night. It crashed an awful lot. I, there were multiple times when I saved in a state which it turned out I could not load, which is just terrifying, honestly. We have backup saves, and such things exist, and I think maybe Ferelden's just, well, Ferelden might be cursed, but I think maybe Denerim's just cursed. So instead of uh, instead of trying to go to Denerim next time, we'll do something else. We'll go recruit, I don't know, the dwarves, maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take Shale to go see the dwarves. That'll be fine. That should be just tremendously fine, actually. But, um... So, so we tried to play Dragon Age Origins, and we did play a little bit of Dragon Age Origins. Nothing that got saved or is going to be recorded or go on YouTube or anything, but we, we played a little bit of Dragon Age Origins, and then the game crashed and crashed and crashed and crashed, and we got it working again, and then it crashed and crashed and crashed and crashed. And, crashed. and I tried to play Final Fantasy XIV, because yeah, at that point I was about seven sheets to the wind, and I couldn't get fourteen to work, so I said, F it! <laughs> And we raided out, and, and we said goodnight. But thank you very much to Lulu Freya for the raid and to everybody who came in and followed. If you stuck around, tremendous. And if you didn't, well, I understand, basically. We'll do more Dragon Age at one point or another. What is this uh, yellow house going to do here? That's a wonderful question to which I have no answer. Let's take a motorway, which I may or may not ever use. You know, I could, if I kill all of this road, I could kind of reposition this guy to go right up here. It feels, no. Th this, what I've got here, is kind of sort of working. So we're going to stick with stuff that kind of sort of works for the moment. It is Wednesday, my dudes. You have to say that whenever you say that it is Wednesday. It is obligatory for the younger millennial to always add a comma, my dudes, whenever they note what day of the week it is, particularly when it is Wednesday, comma, my dudes. 
Uh, hmm. Okay, so we've got a yellow business up here that needs some attention. I see. Well, well, this is a problem, isn't it? Well, what I could do is I could run you over to here, and then if I point you there and I motorway you two over to here. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I could really do with a roundabout? Right in here? And it is Saturday. I think we're going to wait and see if maybe I get a roundabout. If I get a roundabout, this all makes a lot more sense. If I don't, well, we're in trouble. But, you know, we were always going to be in trouble eventually. All right, let's see here. Uh, ooh, a bridge. Bridge is also tempting. Yeah, we'll take a bridge in 20 instead of 30 road tiles. But now we have to figure out what we're doing with this guy, like, quickly. So... Here's what I think we're doing with this guy. First of all, we're running this dark blue up over to here. And we're going to add, you go here, and we'll traffic light right here. So this dark blue road, now you guys represent two things, and that's going to have to be fine. Meanwhile, meanwhile, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to kill this. Don't worry, most of it will come back in a second. Hear ye, hear ye. Let the record show that this viewer was here first. Leah Fireheart was here first. Good morning, Leah. All right, you two go that way. You go there. Thank you for being here, Leah Fireheart. Hey, question. How do we get... Uh, you two to play nice and hmm well you can support that I think this is basically fine and actually yeah you and you hop motorway number one go up there once we get this bridge back we'll deal with these yellow guys that should broadly speaking be okay there so these two yellows take a bridge. They go up here into this yellow business. These two yellows snake their way over here. This one red is the sole support for this red business. This business up here has four houses of support. That should be fine. That should indeed be totally fine. Can this one house support this one business? I feel like in the long run, this is going to be bad. For this this is not actually going to work the way i intend for it to work but maybe it'll be okay it's conceivable to me that it'll be okay you probably not forever on the other hand nothing is forever everything everything we know and love will eventually crumble to dust and be forgotten by history which itself will crumble to dust and be forgotten by whatever comes after history i don't know uh let's take a uh, bridge. Didn't intend to discuss the inevitable heat death of the universe, but yeah, 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 fine. All right. Uh, these dark blues are going to swing down here and then out here. I said dark blues. I meant greens. Hopefully you know what I mean. You three come down here, support that business. That's going to be great. Meanwhile, this yellow goes over there, hooks up into that. And we don't have anybody coming here yet, but listen, it's early. We can figure something out, probably. I'm not excited by the fact that these light blues keep spawning all the way out here. So, all right, fine, let's do this. You're going to be such a dick bag about stuff. You can be a dick bag about stuff. We'll draw this very long and stupid road right here. Everybody go. So these light blues come out here, they go wind their way down here, either they go into this business or they keep going, as these houses are doing, and come all the way down here to support this guy. Meanwhile, this one business has exactly one house, which, listen, the emote is not called one business, one house, so it's probably a bad thing. We want to have more than one house going to one business, please ignore the success of this red guy. Also, please ignore the, the inevitable failure of this red guy, because this guy has no house at the moment. That's also bad. 
Uh, you can do that, I guess. That's atrocious. Look at look at this nightmare right here. This is just the worst thing. All right, what is gonna fix all of this? I wonder. Um, that's a great question. Maybe a roundabout. Actually, yeah, a roundabout. Because I could have you and you. Okay. All right, if I get a roundabout this week, this red guy is okay. If not, uh, we might be in trouble. Oh, look, we might be in trouble. Okay. We're going to take 30 road tiles because with motorways costing road tiles, I, it doesn't make sense to take a motorway on 10 when you only already have two in the bank. So. Here's the deal. I was going to say Eleanor, but one of many things that has aged poorly about Scrubs is the the idea that we can just call a dude a woman's name and that's an insult. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, we're just going to do that. We're going to have traffic light here that exists to get these red houses over here. And this is just a weird and bad intersection. And this can get away with being a weird and bad intersection for reasons. Also, uh, something that just occurred to me is that yellow houses from yellow cars from here can go up and around and over. And oh my God, the last thing I wanted was more red. Who thought I wanted more red there? Guys? Guys? Did anyone think I wanted more red there? Where is this? Oh my god. Oh, this is this is awful. This you should co you should connect that green neighborhood to the blue neighborhood and give your town a beltway. So I should I should just make this road connect to this road so that every so that there's one big loop all around everything. That I mean, it doesn't seem like good solid sound strategy, but gestures vaguely at everything. So Hmm. We got to get blues down to here, so let's just do this. I'm sure it'll be fine. Do I have one B1R anywhere? Yes, I have one B1R here and here and he and, and here. This little starting island cluster has nothing but one Bs and one Rs, and then everything else is just... Oh, it's a it's a terrible death nightmare. All right, you come down here. You yellow guy feed into this yellow business. That'll be good. Give me the roundabout I wanted last week before that business spawned and fucked me. Okay, I should probably take a bridge. We're going to need to cross water at some point. Give me a bridge. I very much wanted to take that roundabout, but no. Good morning, Kyozo. Hope you are doing well. Hope you do not take motorway building tips from this episode of the stream because, oh boy, oh buddy, this is... Uh, okay, this yellow up here has gotten mad, which, listen, I understand that. Um, so the, the reason this yellow is mad is that these yellows have taken it upon themselves to support this business, which is not something I want, but also I can't really think of a way to discourage it. Wait, yes I can. Yes, I absolutely can. We're gonna kill this traffic light and this road, and we're gonna hook up this, this, and this. So now, uh, here, this red, hooks up here via motorway number one. Motorway number one comes down here into this. And what I've done all of a sudden is totally disconnect all of the, uh, I've disconnected these yellows from this ecosystem, meaning that this yellow and this yellow are the only two supports for this square, which is kind of bad for this square, but it's generally good for like the mo the net the ro uh, words the road network as a whole. So we're gonna go with it. We're gonna run with that as our plan. This yellow business fucking sucks, and I hate it. I can't believe this guy exists. I'm very mad. 
nobody is going to this yellow square right now. People are going through this yellow square's parking lot rather than go to this yellow square. I don't get it. What the hell is happening? Additionally, why can't I get any yellow spawns? It's all falling apart at 583. Oh. Wow. That, um, that went poorly. That did not go well. It, uh, yeah, yeah, bottom 35%. Holy, well, would you look at that? Even if I had put up a tremendous score, even if, like, yesterday I was in the top 4% in the world, I still would have gotten Samurai Slammed. Everyone who played this game, who did this daily challenge, has gotten Samurai Slammed today. Spencer was here, was here, got Samurai Slammed. Mini Hotshot got Samurai Slammed. Max Bubble, the largest bubble you can imagine, was delivered a Samurai Slam. So let's ignore the fact that I was in the bottom 35% and did a frankly terrible job at the Daily Challenge today. Congratulations, Samurai Sam. You are number one. And here I was thinking that it was Smitty Jorgen Magerheisten, or whatever his name is. That was almost a good SpongeBob reference. I came very close to making a good SpongeBob joke there. So, listen, we know that the word ends in E, so we've basically solved it. We don't even have to go through the, we should probably go through the process. Okay. It could be great. Not my usual great, but that great. It's not that great, but hey, we learned there's an A. Again, basically solved. It could be Pamdi. It's not, because that's not a word. But aside from that slight issue, it could be Pamdi. It could be f many things. Uh, it can't be above because there's an O in above. It can't be alone because there's an L and an O in alone. It could be... Can't be avenue because avenue is a six-letter word. Uh, it could be awake. No, it can't be awake. There's an A in the third letter of awake. Uh, it could be... Many, many things. It could be Andy. No. Okay, fine. That's fair. It could be yellow, except for any of, oh, a thousand reasons. Probably one thousand reasons why it's not yellow. Why am I having so much trouble thinking of a thinking of a word that fits the very limited information I have here? There should be like infinite possibilities, or if not infinite, like more than eight. And I can't think of any of those eight. So it could be Unrelated word time. It could be unrelated word time. Actually, unrelated word time is probably a good idea. It could be, uh, well, build is not a great unrelated word because there's an L in build. It, guide is similarly a poor choice. Actually, could it just be guide? No, there's no G. We know there's no G. I'm stuck on that UI and now I can't get off of it. Should probably get off of it. It could be bunny. Bunny's a terrible unrelated word. Double letter has a Y. It's not what you want to do with your unrelated word time.
There, I got the U and the I in. So we know there's an I in the word. We also know... Mm. It can't be a like. Because that has an L. It can't be a rise. Because that has an R and an S. It can't be... Alice, because that has an L and a C. It can't be... But I, I think I'm onto something with this general structure. It doesn't have to be that. I could, in fact... Well, I can't swap the I and the A here, because we know that A isn't the third letter. So, it can't be abide, because there's no D. It can't be, that's not a word, is it? No. The dude does abide, that's true. I've never seen The Big Lebowski. I feel like I've functionally seen everything I need to see in The Big Lebowski because I've, you know, seen clips of John Goodman ranting about Vietnam while bowling, but I've never seen The Dude Abides. I've never seen The Big Lebowski, which is, you know, the actual name of the movie containing the line, The Dude Abides. Hmm. What? In the fuck is this word? Kyozo, what word do you think it is? Tell me the word you think it is that you think would be funny if it is the word. It can't be axiom. Could it be maze? Ooh, it could be maze. That's a good, <clears throat> excuse me, that's a good pull. Holy shit! That is a good pull, Kyozo. Wow. People are going to get mad. People are going to get so mad at this one. Any Anytime you bust out a Z for Wordle, people are going to get mad. But, oh boy. Ooh, this feels like a good time for people to get mad. Uh, people do enjoy corn. It's a big lump with knobs, and it has the juice. But still, I think it's not going to go that well. All right, we just did Manila for the Daily Challenge. Let's go to Wellington for a no-pausing run. Today's Wordle is, in fact, amazing. Kiozo, it is literally impossible for all of your goodwill to be gone for reasons I think you don't want me to say on stream. So, oh, Leah put a pun bun in the chat. A honey pun. I like that. That's good. All right. No pausing. And I mean it this time. Last time we did a no pausing run, I paused like a monster. Absolutely no pausing today. Fr from now on. The next person who pauses in mini motorways deserves, uh, uh, I, I don't know. Okay, good. I was referencing the fact that Kyozo's first name is Will, thereby making it a joke. It is impossible for all of the goodwill to be gone because Kyozo is himself a goodwill. It's the entirety of the joke. It, it is indeed another meat space friendo. That's true. That's an actual fact. I vaguely remember what Kyozo looks like. It has only been three years since I'm in person. There was a plague. Anytime you, anything you can just quickly affix, you know, there was a plague as an explanation to, we should just accept as total understanding because there was after all a plague. 
There is, after all, a plague. It's just that we've, you know, decided to call to say was sometimes. <sighs> Society, yay. Society, yay. No. No, not actual yay. All right, uh, this yellow is, okay, this yellow is actually turning into less of a problem now because I can just point you up. Oh, gross, no, wait, hold on. Uh, you need to come down here so that you, oop, can go up through here so that you can go over there. Ha ha! Now we're cooking with gas. You come there, no, don't kill that. This is what happens when you do a no pausing run. Everybody go, everybody go, and we're just fine. And we're just fine. Okay. Give me a bridge. Kyozo almost got the plague this weekend, went to be with a struggling friend since his plans literally poofed, and you almost got a plague for it. That's what you get for helping people. That's what you get for being a good and generous person, is almost the plague. That does count for something, Leah. The internet is for making weird friends who play odd road games or something. I don't know. Um, here, you green guys, come here. Tunnel into there. No, don't tunnel there. Tunnel over here. I feel like I'm scolding a, not a beaver, but a, a gopher. Yeah, I'm scolding a gopher when I say, no, don't tunnel there. It also, I also think scolding your gopher sounds like a terrible euphemism for masturbation. <laughs> is it just me? I feel like that's like the a ninth run down. After you've made all the really obvious references, you just kind of slap some shit together and say, oh, I'm going to go scold my gopher. No. No. Uh, when Leah met me, I was ranting at Horizon and possibly Mass Effect. That doesn't really narrow it down because... Well, I suppose it narrows it a little bit because I haven't always ranted at Horizon, but I've spent a decent percentage of my adult life ranting about Mass Effect. Mass Effect fucking rules. You should play Mass Effect. The, the Royal you. I'm sure everyone here has already played Mass Effect, and if you haven't, well, th that's a thing you can do. Do you have some free time? I would suggest that you use it to play Mass Effect 2. And then if you like Mass Effect 2, I would suggest that you go back and play Mass Effect 1. But start with Mass Effect 2. Leah, you should start with Mass Effect 2. <laughs> oh, when Kyoza thinks about Mass Effect, he hears about me singing the truck went over the mountain. That's true. Ooh, Leah played her first FPS. What was it? Tell me. Say what it was. Say the name of the game. I demand that you say the name of the game in this chat room right now. Mass Effect 3 is also a very good video game. It is not as good a video game as Mass Effect 2, though. Mass Effect 2 is a superior video game. I've heard... I think I've heard good things about Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I've definitely heard of it. Can't remember if the... Th yeah, the things I heard were good. So I'm sure... You, I hope you had a good time, rather. All right. Render unto me a tunnel. Yes. We're going to take a tunnel. We're going to draw this road right here and then move motorway number one so as to do this thing and get four houses going up there. That'll be totally fine. Meanwhile, you will, no, you will no, stop doing the bad thing. Do a good thing. There. All right. Uh, right. Let's see here. You four go that away. You two don't do anything. You need to get up there desperately, badly, right now. Um, shit. I only have so much road, and I only have so many assets here, but I need to get those dudes up there, and I can't do this any other way, so we're going to do it this bad way. Do I even have the road to do this? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, that's just going to have to be fine. No, crap, 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 crap. Crap, crap, crap. My inability to draw a straight line might have just doomed me. I think my inability to draw a straight line has just doomed me. Are you guys going to get there in time? Please? Here, I would like it very much if you got there. Also, additionally, if we can take these two yellows and swing them down into here, uh, motorway can't go over mountains. Fuck. F fuck. Um, here, do that. 
Yep. Yep. That makes total and complete sense. Okay. Uh, this this beige thing just barely got saved, so congratulations, beige thing. You're still in trouble, by the way. Like, you're still probably fucked, but yeah, it's, it's possibly maybe fine. Yeah, this is, um, this is a no-pausing run that is falling apart, but listen, no-pausing runs do that all the time, right? Here, beige guys are catching up, sort of, kind of. It's okay, I have two road tunnels and no other assets. Okay, so this has gotten under six participants, which is okay. All right, you have time to breathe. Yeah, we're, we're catching up here, because this is going, this is taking longer and longer to get into Ono territory. And as long as that remains the case, we're okay. I desperately need a tunnel. That is not a tunnel. That is a motorway. Shit, I probably should have just taken roads. Okay, um, well, all right, well, we're doomed now, but here, you do that. I'm not going to get anything to that dark blue, am I? No. Here, you do this, and I, I can't. I just can't. I don't have a tunnel. I don't have the tunnel. Sam says always take motorway. Well, I kind of needed tunnel, and I didn't get it, so we're going to crap out at 444. Can I get to triple fours? Die right now. Oh, I wanted it to die at a funny smooth number, but no, it's 446. Not exactly our best work, but hey, listen, I can claim one tiny little piece of victory in the sense that I introduced the dude who is apparently the best dude in the entire fucking world at this game, at least today. Samurai Sam was number one, and that's what matters, and uh, Sam wouldn't play the game if it wasn't for me. So you're welcome, Greater Mini Motorways community. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, that's what we're doing here. We're, we're raising exposure to the, to the brand, and listen, if you, you can, can, yes, Busito, we can be Steam friends. We can absolutely be Steam friends. Pop your Steam thing in the Discord, and we'll be Steam friends. You probably beat me today, but yes. Join the Discord server. Pop your Steam thing in the... Like, pop your Steam thing is also an obscure euphemism for... Never mind. All right. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. I will be back on Twitch tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock Eastern, for another edition of Good Morning Mini Motorways. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.